Let the Right One In single-handedly redeems the vampire subgenre after years of emasculation by Stephanie Meyer. This Swedish horror film, directed by Thomas Alfredsson, is a very soulful tale of the undead, with plenty of chills and a lot of heart. Let the Right One In is about unconditional love, simply put, but the conditions are hard to ignore. Oscar, played by Kerr Hedebrandt, is a sullen boy who is constantly bullied by the kids at his school. He finds an unlikely friend in Ely, Lena Leandersson, a pale, lanky girl who turns out to be a vampire. The two kids look out for each other, and Ely encourages Oscar to stand up to the bullies. These lonely people form a touching relationship, and their simple care and affection for each other is far more convincing than anything in the Twilight series, especially coming from child actors. Ely is unnaturally strong and agile, she is vulnerable to sunlight, she cannot enter a home without being invited, and must drink human blood to survive. In short, Ely is everything a vampire should be. Ely's protector Hakan, played by Per Ragnar, initially has the job of finding victims and draining their blood for Ely, but Ely must later hunt for herself. These scenes are visceral, bloody, and very disturbing, and depict Ely as a heartless predator. But a clever twist on the vampire mythos has Ely sleeping with a teddy bear in a coffin she improvised out of a bathtub. Ely appears sweet and innocent in these shots, which remind us that Ely is still just a little girl. Even with fresh blood staining her face and shirt, Ely is a kind, frail, sensitive girl who loves Oscar and this is enough for you to wish them happiness and hope Eli survives. At the risk of sounding cliched, love trumps all in this movie, as unconditional love, even with a condition as big as Eli being a vampire, keeps her and Oscar together. The cinematography is bleak and filled with snow and shadows, establishing a somber mood and reflecting the sad mood of the characters. The film is slow but mesmerizing, with Ely and Oscar's moving friendship punctuated by grisly killings and a confronting subplot about a bitten woman, Ika Nord, who survived. Lena Leandersson's sad, probing eyes and primal movements make her perfect as a vampire, and Kerr Hedebrandt superbly conveys the frustration and bottled-up anger of a boy stuck in a cold family life and tormented by bullies. Hedebrandt displays an utterly believable sadness that no child should experience, but becomes brighter and bolder when around Ely. Don't take this review as praise for Let the Right One In just because it's not Twilight. No, Let the Right One In is an exceptional movie in its own right. There is a canned sound effect in the climax, and the CGI for the cats is not obvious, but still noticeable. These are the only flaws I could find in this movie, and only the most pedantic of movie snobs could care about them. With flawless performances, riveting tension, grisly deaths, and a heartwarming story of two lonely friends at its core, Let the Right One In is both a solid vampire movie and another great entry in Sweden's film industry. Let the Right One In was adapted from John Avid Lindquist's novel, and an American remake was recently directed by Matt Reeves. Lindquist was apparently very happy with both versions. Let Me In switches the setting from Stockholm to New Mexico, and gives the main characters more American names. Released less than a month ago, Let Me In stars The Rhodes' Cody Smith McPhee and Chloe Moretz from Hit Girl as the vampire girl Abby. 
I look forward to seeing whether Let Me In is as good as the Swedish original, but for now, Thomas Alfredson's Let the Right One In is an excellent film that I highly recommend. Let the Right One In earns five stars out of five. May the real vampires take back Halloween. Thank you for watching. Cheers. I am a vampire, I'm a slave. I sleep through the daylight, hence my grave. In the darkness, in the shadow.